okay um so let us learn now learn uh, some problem with the uh, unitary method this is uh, will use what's wrong will use unitary method when do we have to use this kind of unitary method so for that let me uh, take a question say it says if uh, if nine articles if nine articles cost dollar 36 what is the cost of one article what is the cost of one article see in this kind of problem what we find is uh, two statements okay look very carefully the two statements are first I have a given statement and following that I have to find the second line that means uh, see I have nine articles given and a cost given and I have to find another cost and I have another article that means what is the unknown part cost is the unknown part okay so that part I have to write on the um, right hand side that means the first statement I have to write is this way um, the cost of nine articles equal to dollar thirty six that means I have written the cost term in the right hand side so therefore I have to find the cost of one article the cost of one article is how much it is equal to see cost of nine articles is dollar thirty six so that means obviously cost of one article will be much lesser and this lesser amount will be obtained by a division process that means I have to divide 36 by 9 and I get 36 divided by 9 that is 4 because if I cancel out the numerator and the denominator that means this is both are divisible by 9 9 ones are 9 4 nines are 36 and I get 4 in the answer that means my answer is dollar 4 is the cost of one article now this kind of statement is called unitary method that means when I have a given statement in which I have the values both in the right hand side and the left hand side and I have to find the uh, what will be the thing of in terms of one one means unit right so I am finding the for one what will be the value if for nine the value is 36 what will be the value for one so this kind of statements I have to make in a unitary method